Okay guys, getting ready for a trip, going to Flaming Gorge and also Boyson Reservoir on the way. Um, my boy's got a basketball game tonight in Thermop, so I'm going to stop and check that out and uh, wake up bright and early tomorrow morning and head to the gorge. So hopefully we'll get into a couple fish today. Um, my brother-in-law Jared's bringing his camper down, he's just going to do a little camping. And a guy from Wapiti, Larry, he's going to come down and try to fish with us. And we're meeting up with Steve and Wayne. Wayne's from Shoshone, Steve's from Cheyenne. And uh, hopefully we'll get into some fish and see some, sounds like they're catching perch, walleye, sauger, ling, or burbot, and trout. So I'm hoping to set some jaw jackers today and maybe some uh, jigging tonight for the burbot. So come along. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, so I just had a jaw jacker pop outside. I'm gonna set all my poles up this trip for a minute here with these Wyoming spoons. Um, we're gonna check these out. Andy May sent me a whole bunch of them and uh, wanted me to give them a try. I actually contacted them and they were just friendly as can be and told them I'd like to make a video of them because I really think they're gonna do good on the burbot, but I know they're gonna do good on the rainbows on these jaw jackers. So they've got some glow in the dark ones, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I want to show you a trick on my jackers while we're here. So these loops that come with the jaw jackers, I just don't like the way they attach. So I actually laid them on these rods and uh, just um, wrapped them with some thread. Very uh, archaic and, you know, not real professionally, but I'm telling you, I just love it the way they sit on those jackers. And they're just out of the way when you catch a fish that is totally out of the way of the line and you don't ever have to worry about losing them highly recommend it so anyways we're going to get these rigged up and we'll go set some jackers and hopefully get into some rainbows Excited well, larry just showed up here with a nice rainbow that's what we like to see here what do you think larry hey it's a good way to get started. that's a good way to get started good job buddy thank you all right Hey, nice. Note the skunks off our back. Absolutely. In 30 minutes. Cool beans. Good job, Larry. Hey, I'm Larry Dickerson from Wapiti called Coyote Hunter on Ice Shanty. Good nice. He's a he's a trooper. Check out this little jigger he's got. He showed us this on Buffalo Bill last year. Where'd you pick that up or did you make it? No, this is a Sullivan jigging machine, so uh, I've used it everything from lake trout to walleye crappie and everything and it's so nice you can be doing things when you mark a fish you take it out of here and you finesse them gotcha. it's uh it's it's the way to go this thing has caught more fish through the years than i've had it about five years and i love it i have and, i uh, love it it's a part of my tackle i take it everywhere i go excellent you're not going to find a nicer guy than larry i know i said that about you last week but larry's right there with him so well we're gonna... you know i'm just trying to keep some of these guys sitting in my shadow there you go thanks Good larry wayne he just brought Larry his stuff and uh, we'll, inter we'll introduce you to Wayne a little later. He comes out here every year, lives in Shoshone. He's the man on this lake, in this part of the lake. He likes to fish the southern part here in the shallows. So I'm still setting jackers. So Larry just jigged something up here. We're just talking. And he's fighting something. Good eye, Larry. Yeah, he was suspended and I just came up to him. Another rainbow, I'll bet. I bet it is too. Because he's a thick one, obviously. He acts pretty happy. Oh man, he's got to be three, four, five pounds, <laughs> don't you think? What would you judge him as? Well, right now I judge him as about ten foot down. <laughs> <laughs> ten foot down, <laughs> eastbound and down. I think he's, I think he's a nice fish. Yeah, he's on an awful little jig. Oh Three wow, pounds. beautiful fish. Yeah. Uh, he does. He's a nice he guy. doesn't like the way you look. No, he got to see me, and he's he's like a lot of women. They <laughs> they like to go the other way. Oh Don't boy! Back up here. Get your head up. Nice job, Larry. Very good. Look at that beautiful fish. Isn't that great? Wonderful. Excellent. Beautiful. 
Thank Go. you, Mr. Trout. Well, yeah, See if we can land it. this bad boy. Oh, that nice rainbow. I'm famous for losing fish. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I wouldn't normally handle a fish like this, but we're keeping these. <laughs> Live it, love it. That was worth coming home from a basketball game for. Went and watched a movie in my brother-in-law's camper and Thanks, Larry. Sweetness. Well, guys, I almost forgot to show you my coolest invention of the week. Remember, we got a 3D printer. Been printing these Altoids tins. That baby has everything I need for tip-up fishing. And what's cool, stores right in the boot. Love it. Wanted to show you that. I started setting my tip-ups tonight, and I thought, where is that tackle box? It dawned on me on my second tip-up that it was in my boot. So I'll have to get used to that, but that's something I think I can get used to. So for those of you who don't know about tip-up fishing, I've got this little piece of lead with a little alligator clip on it. Clip it to your hook, you can drop it down, and it'll tell you where the bottom is. We're only in about 12 feet of water here. So there's bottom. I'll grab, grab one of those bobbers. There's bottom. There's my tip up. And then I got a foot off the bottom right there. So I'll put the bobber there, and now I know how deep to go every time. So now we simply pull that back up. Like I said, most of you guys probably know this already, but I've got a few comments from some guys who are enjoying the ride. So then we got our minnows right here in this little glass. Got a number two circle hook, octopus, circle hook, whatever it is, right behind the dorsal, boom, just like so. Throw him down. Got a little split shot about 18 inches above that. And then about 18 inches above that, I got a swivel going into my line. We'll drop the tip up line down and we'll reel up the excess here until we get the bobber right outside the tip up, right like so. We'll set that, turn on our blue tips, double check our blue tips, yep, insulator, we're set. On okay time. guys, we know that one, what that means. Looks like number four. How are you sleeping, Larry? Oh. <laughs> Good, bad, ugly? Wonderful. Good. <laughs> well, hopefully he's still there for us. Both of our alarms are chirping. Great way to wake up. There you go. Uh oh, now I've done it. Those big fat rainbows, I think. I think so. Yep. 
Well, my, well, I think so. I don't think that. Boy, he's acting different though, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know. There you go. Yep, big old rainbow. That rainbow. Chunky one. There he is. Look at that chunk. Get out of there. There we go. Well, he's not real tall, but he's short and fat, just like somebody else I know. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> oh, that's the way to wake up. Oh, yeah. And the time is 5.50. Nice. So this is my buddy Steve from Cheyenne. We've been fishing for several years together. And he's got some money in that bucket. Ugh. There's a tournament going on this weekend. Oh, nice fish. Very nice. About seven pounds, I think. Seven pounds. That is a dream fish for me. That's a beautiful ling. <clears throat> Burbot. What a beauty. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you very much. Awesome. About 4.30 this morning. Only flag I had all night. Is that right? That was it. Well, that's a beauty. Love that camel pattern. Good job. Oh, they're just a beautiful fish. Mine. I keep threatening the wife that I'm going to put one on. I keep threatening the wife I'm going to put one on the wall. Not yeah. puppy dog. What's this dog's name? Bo. Bo. Yeah, Bo. He's been going with us for years too. Yep. Beautiful morning. Getting packed up, headed, headed down to the gorge. Yes, sir. Okay, so we got a flag we're gonna check real quick, and I think I'm gonna call the strip. And, uh, Ooh, yep, he's go. spinning. So after this, I'm gonna pull these tip ups and call this strip. I didn't think she was on there, but she's on there. Yeah, I love it. Rocking in the free world, Larry. Yeah, didn't take much line. There's my bobber right there. Oh, I think I lost him. Darn it. Uh, <laughs> so it wasn't too deep? It was huh? a 30 point buck right there. Yeah, the 30 point buck. Oh well. That happened. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna call it, guys. So thanks for joining us on Boyson. We'll get things packed up and Get out of here. Another beautiful morning. Looking forward to seeing my buddies down on Flaming Gorge. Thanks. So, Wayne just showed up here. Nice perch. Cool. Very that. cool. Yeah, that, that's going to be a pound. I oh, yeah. Think. Very nice. Usually, one, two, one, three will be in the money. Yeah, and I think. That one I should think be, that close would be to that. real close to one. And two. they go by time. Because on the perch, you'll have a lot of them that are though, like the same weight. Oh, really? So the time it's checked in. Interesting. Is, uh, so if you have five of them that are 1.2, so the, the first one weighed in. Wow. Like that, Interesting. Okay, so this is my brother in law's outfit. He's on top of this grassy knoll. People are showing up for the tournament. He's been taking some time lapse with his little camera set up here. He's got his little DeWalt battery back, powering the lens warmer. So that's kind of fun. We'll hope to post some of his pictures at the end of the video. Jared and I planned breakfast last night. Thank you, sir. Gotcha. Exciting. You know, more in here. I'm I'm toasty. I'm good. I've just been working, so. Core's gone up. My core's gone up from last night. So awesome stuff. He gave me the biggest helping. I don't know why. He must have been munching while he was cooking. Yeah. <laughs>